Well, you never want to see a recession, but you know, if you've got to get inflation down, central banks are going to have to engineer excess capacity. That means unemployment has to go up, demand has to come down relative to that supply. The country that's got the biggest problem there in many ways is the United Kingdom, where labour shortages are as high as they were in 1973, courtesy of Brexit um, plus the, the pandemic environment. So you know, the risk of stagflation is probably greatest in the UK. Um, and yes, I think we will be seeing unemployment rates going up. I did something stupid over the weekend, Ian. I went into the chat forums of the crypto advocates who were seeing extreme volatility in their Bitcoin and other things. It's a strange place mentally is all I can say. And people perhaps need to just think about their positions and their rest of their life as two separate things. But what do we think about it? You've already alluded to the leverage in this arena as well. Is crypto a metaphor for anything other than greed? Uh, it, it's a, it's, I think it's a metaphor for liquidity, Steve. Um, you know, what we've seen is that, that in a world where liquidity is plentiful, you know, the bitcoins of this world do well, you know, when that liquidity is taken away, and that's what the central banks are doing at the moment, you know, then you see those markets come under extreme pressure. You know, we always make the point that bubbles... And, you know, we define those as anything that goes exponential on a log scale, which, you know, Bitcoin did and other cryptocurrencies did. You know, they tend to lose 80 percent of their value. You know, that would take you back actually to about 13,000, which is one of the key support areas for, for Bitcoin. So, you know, we would still be selling, um, you know, these kind of cryptocurrencies into this environment. And, you know, it really is a, a liquidity play. What we found is that it's neither a currency nor a commodity and certainly not a store of value.